Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a full case break of the brand new 2019 Panini Prism Baseball. Pick your team number one from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to all of these folks for buying their team straight up. Really appreciate it. And of course, there was a big spot random right, for pick your team number one. We sold 17 spots. We randomize your names, and then the name on top will get the Blue Jays in Pick Your Team 1. Second name will get the Chicago White Sox, Astros, Dodgers, Mariners, Cardinals, Pirates, Nationals, Rangers, A's, Giants, Twins, and Indians. The bottom four, after the randomizer, will get one spot in a random team break, uh, random team break number two, which is almost full. We can probably, we should be able to do that tonight. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into that spot random there. And so on sheet two, we have everything listed right here. So let's roll the dice. Let's randomize that list eight times. Six and a two. Eight. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eighth and final time. After eight times, Billy Powell. Look at that. Your name is on top. It means you get the Blue Jays. So congrats to Billy with the Blue Jays. EO, you got the White Sox. Eloy Jimenez is Astros for Mark. Jeremy with my Dodgers. Jared Pletcher with the Mariners. Jack B, you got the Cardinals. Jay Tinney with the Pirates. Jeremy 33 with the Nats. Jay Tinney with the Rangers. Brandon Nichols with the A's. Chris Parent with the Giants. Johnny V with the Twins. Stephen K with the Indians. And David, Robert, Stephen K, and Patrick K. You'll each have one spot in Random Team 2, which I'm sure will fill at some point tonight. So let's transfer all these names over. So Billy... With the Blue Jays, nice. We'll put a little thing next to your name so you know you won that in a spot random. EO with the White Sox. Mark with the Astros. Jeremy 33 with my Dodgers. Jared P with the Mariners. Jack with the Cardinals. And if you're watching the replay of this, you can obviously fast forward through this part. Jay with the Pirates. Jeremy 33 with the Nationals. Jay with the Rangers. Brandon with the A's. Chris Parent with the Giants. Johnny V with the Twins. And Stephen K with the Tribe. Oh, where did the Rockies go? There we go. All right, there you go. And here we go. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Pick your team two in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I think we'll have time for that tonight. Um, half case, random team two. Definitely have time for that tonight as well. In fact, let me shift these names over to that list while we're waiting for that printout. And the four of you will see those little things next to your names as well. So you know that you got that in the spot room. Those are your spot random spots. We like to keep track of that sort of stuff. All right. Good luck, everybody. There it is on the 15th. Brand new release. Prison Baseball back after a little bit of a hiatus. Are we still talking about guys in the chat are talking about my infamous one-of-one one sketch cards? Drew Kerr wants me to do the to do an Ariana Grande and me watching the sunset with In-N-Out burgers and milkshake sketch card. Sam wants it. Now that would have to be a randomizer. Sam's saying I should do a bunch of sketch cards on my day off. 
and put up a free random break to see who gets them. That's exactly how I'd love to spend my days off, Sam. Boxer all over the place. This is a this is a poor unboxing, folks. This is two out of two out of ten. This is terrible. Look at this. Look at that. that box all over the place. Jeez. No, this. Que horror. It's not the cleanest. All right, so there you go. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the second three, the third three, the fourth three makes 12. And again, folks, just relax, settle in. This break's gonna take a little while. All right, good luck. Wait, hold on. What, Presley? Some dude went on Shark Tank and his idea was drawing dumb-looking cat drawings and then Mark Cuban backed him? What was he doing with these drawings? Oh, sorry, JMV. Trade window closed. I guess we could have allowed for some trades in that ring. Next time. What was he doing with those dumb cat drawings? Oh, I'll do a recap video too at the end of this, so in a separate video. So if you're watching live and you're like, man, I got things to do, is there going to be a recap video? Yes. Or if you're watching the replay and you are got this far and you're like, oh man, I don't want to sit around for an hour watching this break, hearing you talk about cat drawings, then I'll be like, all right, well, look for the, look for a separate video. There should be a, uh, a whatchamacallit, a recap video, an autograph recap video. And important parallels, maybe under 10 and under. All right, now, contrary to the previous break, just in the interest of time, we are gonna go a little quickly here. And unless they're like this out of 10, we're, gonna, we're not gonna sleeve them up, we're just gonna set them aside, we'll have our shipping team take care of the sleeving, top loading of uh, higher numbered parallels. Obviously, autographs will do right away. Patrick Wisdom, snakeskin parallel. This wise hit going to Jay and the Rangers. Got the Rangers in a spot random. Wait, so this cat, he draws cats and he sells them for 15 bucks and then mails them? He asks what kind of cat you draw and he, and he draws it. There's Barry Larkin to 399. What? That doesn't make sense. Is it like, I mean, does he draw well? Is, is, it, is it realistic or is it a cartoon cat? What's his, what's his pitch? I need some more space here. Let's put that here. There's Mike Moustakis to 35. We pulled the one of one of this in a random team break. Just maybe 20 minutes ago. So they're horrible. They're intentionally horrible. Cartoonist stick figure cats. Why did Cuban back it? Tom Seaver to 299 for the Mets. And Trevor Story. Rick Barker with the Rockies. There you go, Rick. So that's your stack of hits right here. I'll keep these displayed here so we can keep track of the three autographs we're supposed to get. Drew says, because he's not too bright, Cuban. And he has more money than he knows what to do with. There's Goldschmidt out of $3.99, Cardinals edition. There's 
There's Sean Manea to 299. There's Jonathan Davis. People were buying it? I mean, what's it? Presley says people were buying it. There's Jonathan Davis for the Blue Jays. Billy Powell got randomized the Blue Jays. Maybe some Vlad Jr. in here somewhere. A ton of autographs in here. It's possible. We got Thomas pa Panone. Panone. We got Steven Gonsalves to 199. There's Patrick Wisdom to 150. So pe people bought them? That's just, that just sounds crazy to me. Wait, but it's Nolan Ryan for the Astros to 35. Were they on, like what, what kind of medium is it? What kind of paper is it on? Is it on like a mug or a mouse pad or something? Do anyone use mouse pads anymore? Then I would be like, all right, I guess it makes sense. But if it's just on like a piece of 8x10 paper, there's Garrett Hampson to 99, Zira. Then I'd just be like, eh. <laughs> I mean, I can draw you a cat. Just regular printer paper? Stop. And people are, does he frame it for you for 15 bucks? Like a cheap frame, but at least pretend like it's art? I mean, I guess to him it's art. You can pay extra for a frame, okay. Oh man, and Cuban back. Wait till Mark Cuban sees Lushy McBear. He'll flip, he'll flip. If it, I'll be like Cuban, you thought stick figure cats? Personalized stick figure cats was great? Huh? How about Lushy McBear? A drunk Scottish bear. When when was this episode? Is this person still in business? Who is this guy? I got to look this up after this break. All right. Well, good luck, everybody. It's Trey Mancini to 199. There's Connor Sadzek to 150 for the Rangers. Stephen Gadlin is his name. Is he? Is he like a, a famous street artist? Is that why people are paying 15 bucks for it? There must be there must be a catch that we're there must be something we're missing. And a two ninety nine Jack Flaherty. Like is he the next Banksy but with, with stick figure cats and everyone's like, Oh yeah, that's sick. We want we want this. Or is he just some random dude? He's just some dude? Sorry, I almost throw almost threw this Kendall Graveman. Pro penmanship for the Cubs. EA. Sorry, EA. It's just so There's Burgundy Shimmer. We learned that. Chris Shaw to 25. There's Jose Peraza out of 50. Snake Skin. And your next autograph is Rookie Auto. CNL Perez for the Astros. Mark Matheson got the Astros in a spot random. Wait, George is saying he's closed down, but Presley is saying he just went to his website. Man, just some dude. There's Tim Anderson to 199. Matt Olson to 399.
Pablo Reyes at 299. And Pablo Lopez, rookie auto for the Fish. Chris Parent got the Marlins. Jeff Myers, what time do you think you're going to get to the 2015 Donner signatures? Uh, that's an eBay break. Jeff, if you look at your uh, item description, you'll see the time and the place for that break. It's in the studio. That's right on the other side of that wall, but it's a different channel. Carlos Rodon to 3.99. Yeah, if you're in a e if you're here for eBay, folks, you're in the wrong spot. Brandon Nemo to 150. As for breaks on this site, Jeff, you can go to uh, you can go to jazbeescasebreaks.com. Out of 3.99, Juan Gon Gonzalez. We got Lorenzo Cain to 399. And that is that. So those are your three autographs there. Make myself some room here. Put the base cards in. And George is saying he sold 18,749 drawings of cats. Someone do the math. Times five. What is that? That's crazy talk. Uh, uh, it's just where we do our eBay breaks, Todd. It's not something we market to our regulars. They're already here. We're trying to trying to get new people roped into this mess. That's what Jason Jaspi does. Ten bucks each, fifteen for color. Oh God. Is it at least like cute? Like, is that why people are buying it? Silver Sacker says he looked nothing special. Like, if they're quirky or cute, like, I'd be like, all right, I can see that. You know, I can see that bit of ephemera, but how did he market that? Why do people... I'm so... I'm, there's so much for me to learn about this guy. Wayne says he thinks kindergartners could draw better than that. Man. And he got 25K out of Mark Cuban. Uh, I'm telling you, wait till he sees Lushy McBear. He's going to flip. He's going to flip over Lushy McBear. There's Ramon Laureano. Rookie autograph for the A's. Nice one for Brandon Nichols, who got the A's in a spot random. Making some great defensive plays so these these parallels obviously will ship but the blue and the reds aren't numbered either so that's why I'm kind of breezing by them but they will ship and that will obviously ship Jose Urania and Jackie Bradley Jr. 299 we got Dwight Gooden to 99 Zebra and Miguel Cabrera to 399 and Framber Valdez, rookie auto for the Strohs. That's going to go to Mark Matheson. Got the Astros in a spot random. Michael Conforto to 150. Dal Lugo to 60. Now, Presley's saying, funny thing is, though, he's probably one of the few, the cat guy is one of the few that had a positive return 
to the investor on Shark Tank. So Mark Cuban crazy like a fox. There's Joey Gallo to 299 and Jake Bowers. Sorry, come on, focus. There it is, Indians edition of Jake Bowers to 75. What was the uh, what was the guy's pitch to Mark Cuban? Like, what sold him on it? There's Vlad Guerrero Sr. for the Angels, 399, and Chris Archer for the Pirates out of 399. You got Ryan O'Hearn for the Royals to 399 and James Norwood for the Cubs to 299. Kevin Kramer to 60. There's Wade Boggs to 399. And Dakota Hudson, nice Dakota Hudson for the Cardinals. Jack with the Redbirds. Got the Redbirds in a spot random. 18 out of 75 for the youngster. So Presley is saying that you haven't seen the actual episode in a while, but he was just being goofy and people want it. Wait, should I... Does Mark Is Mark Cuban interesting, interested in investing in group breaks? Patrick Wisdom to 299. Ramon Laureano to 399. Miguel Tejada to 199. Brandon Nemo to 150 for the Mets. We got Yimer Candelario to 199. We got George Brett to 299. There's Carlos Rodon to 99, Zebra. Dwight Gooden to 10. 9 out of 10 for the Mets. There's Justin Williams to 150. Patrick Wisdom to 150. There you go, another box in the books. Rick Barker with the Mets gets the out of 10 Gooden. All right, next box. All right, let's see what's what's going on. What's going on in baseball? Some final scores here. We've got Astros beat the beat the Tigers five to one. I was on the Tigers at plus like three oh seven or something like that. I couldn't resist, but Tigers fall to the Astros. Nationals beat the Mets five to one. Giants edge out the Blue Jays four to three. The Snakes. The Pirates are snake bitten by the Snakes eleven to one. Man, Arizona crushed. Yankees won both games of the doubleheader today. They beat the Orioles 3-1 in the first game, 5-3 in the second game. Twins edged out the Angels 8-7. We've got a number of games in progress that we'll talk about. Now, Brewers are up 5-2 on Philly. Nice. I have uh, I made a small investment in the Brewers tonight at plus 111. So that's good to hear. All right, next box. Good luck, everybody. It's Kyle Tucker, silver. Jesus Aguilar to 199. 
And there's nice 60 out of 60, Michael Kopech. Nice rookie auto for the White Sox. EO with the White Sox. There you go, Eric. Got the White Sox in a spot random. Out of 35, Jake Cave. Johnny's saying Rockies, Red Sox tied at five in the top of the eighth. Not on any of those teams. I was on the Rockies last night. I feel like I got lucky there. We got Austin Dean to 399. Nice. Is that two Kopecks for you tonight? Is he pitching this year or is he is he Tommy John this year? There's Brett Kennedy to 35. Rookie autograph for the Padres. It's going to go to Daniel Patera. Wow. Former Dodger Charlie Culberson just hit a home run for the Braves. There's Walker Bueller, Dodger ace to 399. Oh, he's out for this year, Kopech is. Well, that, that's one to hold on to for next year. Hunter Renfro to 399. I do too. He's got a really live arm. Like a hater type, right? There's Brandon Bell. There's Brett Kennedy, 35. And then we got another White Sox, Carlos Rodon, 42 out of 99. There's Daniel Ponce de Leon for the Cardinals out of 299. Starlin Castro to 150. And Chad Sabotka to 75. For the Braves, Drew Kerr with the Bravos. Yeah, and Carl's Rodone went down too with the old Tommy John. Nelson Cruz to 299. Oh, Presley also saying that Bruce Willis bounced into the plate for first pitch and Phillies fans booed him. You would think. You would think that he would he would have done a little bit better. At a three ninety nine, Eugenio Suarez. Yeah, that's a shame too. Rodon was on before he went down. There's Williams Astudillo and Sabotka. I didn't realize he was he was uh he was pitching. EO says he's been lights out for Atlanta. There you go. So he's up. All right, next box. Whoa, Gabe Kapler said, see, I knew I didn't like Gabe Kapler. Gabe Kapler said to report that Die Hard was not a Christmas movie. Definitely is a Christmas movie. All right, next box. Oh, the kid has 300 Rodone autos, and he was about to cash out, and then he goes down with Tommy John. Well, hopefully he comes back, back strong, better and stronger. Wow, Sabotka, EO, saying he's the first pitcher since earned runs became a category in 1913 to have one earned run or less in his first eight outings or something like that. Man. But Bruce Willis himself, or well, when they had a roast of Bruce Willis, he came on stage and said it was not a Christmas. Definitely is a Christmas movie. Bruce Willis is wrong.
Yeah, I agree, Presley. He's wrong. It has definitely culturally has turned into a Christmas movie, whether he likes it or not. It has evolved into that. Pablo Lopez, Rookie Auto. It's in the rare Christmas action movie category. <laughs> Pablo Lopez for the Marlins. Chris Parent. There's Justin Williams out of 399. There's Yachty to 299. There's Randy Johnson, Diamondbacks edition to 399. Man, yeah. <laughs> Sam Essing, this is now an anti Bruce Willis break. Here I was thinking, I like Bruce Willis. And then he. Bouncing first pitches, and there's two Kidusan. He's been shuttle, shuttling back and forth from Gwinnett. Is that their AAA team? <laughs> and uh, Atlanta. There's Victor Robles. Autograph. Nice. Nationals. Jeremy, 33 with the Nats in a spot random. Oh, breaking news, folks. EO was actually talking about Mike Soroka, not Chris Sabotka. Yeah, I didn't think Sabotka was, was up. Soroka, yeah, Soroka's been pitching pretty well. Damn well. Out of 299, Ozzy Albius. Well, hopefully, Sabotka can turn into this, a similar player. There's Jaime Berea. And there's Richie Martin. Orioles, rookie auto for, for uh, EA and the O's. Well, that's that's the fun of these long breaks, Presley. We can we can kind of get into cat drawings, how Mark Cuban invested in cat drawings, and how I'm thinking of doing drawings now. There's Javier Guerra to 199. Guetta, Guetta. That's for the Padres. There's Moose, Mike Moustakis to 399. Yeah, Ozzy Alves is great. He's supposed to be... He's got power and speed for a second baseman. Position that doesn't have too much power and speed is great. There's John Lester to 399. Braves just signed him to a big extension too. Which, some, which a lot of people think was actually really... He could have been paid more. How good he is. There's Aaron Nola to 150. Uh, 399, Framber Valdez. It's another box in the books. Matthew Scott, what team did you get? I don't think you're in this break. This is pick your team one. I don't see your name on our list. Yeah, Players Union definitely hates the Ozzy Alvius deal. And who else? There was another youngster that signed a big deal. I think Scott Kingery, right? He signed a big, uh, like, eight-year deal or something like that that was, that locks him up for a while, but it was, like, really low average annual value. Yeah, Eloy Jimenez, you know, hasn't really done anything. Has gotten locked up. I'm sure, he'll be. I'm sure he'll be great. He'll he'll out. He'll outperform that contract, though. Yeah, it's a. It's, it's a new. Uh, it's a new trend. I think, maybe some of these younger players are getting nervous about, about how. 
how long it's taken some of the bigger name players to get deals, right? Now Trout was always gonna get his, always gonna get his, right? But it, it took Machado a little time. It took even Bryce Harper a little time. So I think maybe some of those younger players are a little nervous about betting on themselves. I also think that there are some, there may or may not be a, a labor battle between owners and players union in the next few years or so whenever collective bargaining agreement is expired and up for renewal. So I think um, I think that's making a lot of players nervous. So they want to make sure they get locked up just in case, God forbid, a strike happens. Which I don't think it will, but, but I think they're preparing for that fact in a few years. At least maybe a stoppage. EO saying, yeah, but Harper's proving why owners didn't want to give him that. Well, we've got to wait till the end of the season for that. We're not even halfway through the season. Yeah, Harper definitely struggling right now, but let's see where the numbers let's see where the numbers end up at the end of the season. But yeah, for Harper, yeah, the the point I made last night about Harper was looking at fan graphs and their value relative to relative to wins above replacement, right? Fangraphs has a great little value tab if you go to someone's player page. There's Danny Jansen for the Royals, Gabe with that one, G-Lo. And you can see what their estimated salary could be if they were paid strictly off of wins above replacement, how others are paid according to wins above replacement. This is everyone from Mike Miner. So they calculate everyone from Mike Miner to Michael Kopech, et cetera, et cetera. So... Last year, Harper was a $28 million player. His MVP year, he was a $90 million player. So that kind of averages out to where, where he should be. Chipper Jones for the Braves going to Drew Kerr. So the money isn't actually as, as crazy as, I mean, to you and me. Joe Public, yeah, it's crazy amounts of money, but they're 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 playing a special game. They're doing things that no not too many people can do. There's Josh James to thirty five. So I think when you start looking at wins above replacement and how people are getting paid there, then I think then I think you start to see that the salaries aren't as crazy as you think. You can all you can even make an argument that some people are getting underpaid. There's Miguel Sano to 399. Well, I don't know. Hey, well, I mean, we're not even halfway through the season, so let's let's see let's see what Harper does by the end of the season. I mean, he has proven he could go on a tear, you know. He's, I mean, I, I don't know. He's had some weird seasons though, where his average has been down. But then he, I think the upside is that he can he can deliver an MVP season for you, an eight eight war season. I guess the Phillies were willing to take that chance, the ups and the downs. There's Kevin Kramer to 199. We got Sean Reed Foley for the Blue Jays, 299. Should be expecting one more auto out of here. We got Tyler Maley to 399. Yeah, Ryan L. Big hits everywhere. We got Ronald Acuna Jr. to 399 for Drew and the Braves. Max Muncy, Luis Castillo, he's been having a great season to 199. That goes to the Reds. And your third autograph from this box is Lewis Brinson. For the Miami Marlins, Chris Parent with the Marlins. I don't think there's die cuts in this. I mean, we've done 
I guess we've done six boxes for the random team break and another six just now. So out of entire case, no die cut. So I don't think there are. All right, folks. So we are halfway through this break. There's another three right here. And another three right here. We've got about another 40 minutes to go in this break. So then I'll go through some orders after this. I see a dozen orders coming in. Not sure what they're for, but we'll see. No one said anything sold out, so let's see what I... Looks like the random team two is down to seven. Pick your team two for prison baseball is at 14. What else is moving along? I don't really see anything else moving along. So we'll see what those dozen orders are all about after this break. All right, next box. Good luck. It's like Chicago and Cincinnati are going are in extras. They're in the bottom of the tenth in Cincinnati. Five five. Tied at five. What's up, Chris? At the end of the eighth, Brewers still leading the Phillies five to two. Top of the ninth. Rays are leading the Marlins one to nothing. That's a slim lead. I do I do have financial interest in the Marlins. A little financial interest in the Marlins. Maybe they maybe they walk it off in the bottom of the ninth. I think Rays have a pretty good Pretty good at bullpen, though, so I will not hold my breath for that. Top of the ninth, another tight one for the Rockies and uh, and Red Sox. Tied at five in the top of the ninth. That Atlanta game just finished up. The Atlanta shut out the Cardinals four to nothing. I had some financial interest on the on the Braves, so that's one win there. Good luck, boys and girls. Next one. Got Cody Ballinger, who's been raking. There's Kikuchi at 75, who's also been pitching pretty well for the Mariners. Jared with that one. We got Xander Bogarts, the X Man, to 99. There's Scooter Jeanette, 299. Johnny's wondering if they included any twins in this. They sure did. C-Day, C-D, Pelham, rookie auto for the Rangers. That goes to Jay. Got this, uh, got the team in a spot random. Johnny, we've got, we've got 40 more minutes to go in this break, so I wouldn't worry just yet. There's Heath Fillmeyer, Zebra to 99 for the Royals. We've got Reese Hoskins for the Phillies to 199. We got Dakota Hudson for the Cardinals to 299. There's Alex Rodriguez, A Rod for the Mariners to two ninety nine. There's Fernando Tatis Jr. Now, we need to get him healthy. That would be hashtag good for the hobby. That's for Daniel Patera who got the Padres straight up. Straight up now, tell me, do you want to love me forever? Oh oh oh. Nice. There's Walker Bueller to 399. 
Yachty to 60. And for the Dodgers, Caleb Ferguson, Jeremy 33, with little Dodger Joe Mojo. He's been pitching, pitching pretty well. Story goes that uh, some of his success comes from talking to Sandy Koufax in spring training in the offseason, working on his uh, curveball. Sandy Koufax knows a thing or two about curveballs. Javier Guerra to 3.99. Guerra, Guerra. There's Aaron Judge for the Yankees to 60. There's David Peralta. Remember, reds and blues are not numbered. There's Adalberto Mondesi to 3.99. Another box in the books. Todd saying, oh, Puig walk-off single to beat the Cubs. Ugh. <laughs> All right, so it looks like the Cubs fall in extras. Reds win 6-5 to five in 10. Johnny's happy though. JMV's like, I, I got him on my FanDuel roster tonight. Wait, don't we have basketball on right now too? Man, there's too many things to keep track of. How are the Milwaukee Bucks doing? Bucks are, it's a third quarter. Bucks are down by four? Interesting. that game a little bit. channel is this basketball game on? No, not ABC. Oh, TNT. All right. Next baseball box here. Prison Baseball, pick your team one. Those aren't numbered, so that's why we're kind of breezing by those. That is number. Chris Shaw to 75. There's Ryan Yarbrough. And Dal Lugo for the Tigers to 60. And Burt Blylevin. See, they're the twins. Old twins legend Burt Blylevin for JMV. Always play to the whistle, folks. They sure did include twins in this in this release. And there's Colby Allard to twenty-five. 
Burgundy Shimmer for Drew Kerr and the Bravos. Nice. But Braves have a stacked farm system, don't they? More twins, Jose Barrios to three ninety nine. And Rosel Herrera for the fish, Chris Parent with the Marlins. We got King Felix, who I think went down with the injuries on the IL, I think. King Felix for the Mariners. Jake Cave. Austin Voth to 199 for the Nats. And Scott Barlow, 20 out of 25. Scott Barlow in the in in the old boy band Take That in the eighties. And then Gary Barlow. And that'll be for Kansas City. Did we get a bonus? Or did I just not clear away the I think we did. And there's Ibital Avellino. For the Giants, Chris Parent with the Giants. Oh, this must be an autograph hot box then. There's G Man Choi to 250. It's for the Rays. And Ranger Suarez, rookie autograph for the Phillies. Billy with the Phillies. Oh, Barlow was a former driller when, when they were affiliated with the Rockies. Nice. So nice. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six autograph hot box. Nice. Next up. Yeah, maybe it's about time for an Eloy Jimenez, right, Eo? I think it's about time. And looks like that random team break sold out to Stephen K. Excellent. So, oh, I got 21 orders here now. So, yeah. So, give me, after the break, I'm going to have to take a quick little break. And then we'll go through orders. And then we'll get the next time going. The next break going. The next thing, next time.
next box. Looks like a parallel hot box. Nice. There's Albert Pujols to 150. We have Cole Stewart to 35, rookie auto. Another one for the Twins. See, nothing to worry about, Johnny. Marlins got a man on base, but then they couldn't cash in. So they fall to the Tampa Bay Rays, one nothing. Ken Griffey Jr. to 75 for the Mariners. And nice, Dennis Santana, rookie autograph for the Dodgers. Nice one for Jeremy, 33. I feel like he could be a good bullpen guy, starter in the future maybe. There's Diego Castilla to 199. That's all the breaks you're going to do tonight? I don't uh, Okay. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Ryan, but cool. <laughs> There's Wilson Ramos to 399. There's Fran Mil Reyes to 399. Is this case break 29? No. This is uh, pick your team number one for Prism Baseball. There's Thomas again, 299. I have no idea how to say his last name. I'll save that silver Luis Urias too. Nice, Ryan. I hope uh, hope she enjoys that. There's Nick Markakis. We, we were calculating this in, the, in another break. I think Mark Hagis could get 3,000 hits, ladies and gentlemen. Don't look now, but it's possible. There's Jose Ramirez to 299. And Newman, Kevin Newman, is your third autograph from this box. Jay, Jay Tenney with the Pirates. Got him in the spot random. All right, three box to go. One, two, and three. Presley has a fun fact. Nick Markakis would get DH'd for in high school when he pitched, and now he's, like, creeping up on 3,000 hits. If he has four more, four or five more seasons of, of, uh, of career average, about 180 hits a year, which is actually a lot more than I thought it would be. If someone says, what is Nick Markakis averaged hits-wise in his entire career, I would have been like, what, 130, 120, 120 hits a year? But I am dead wrong. Atomic Card guy saying, what's, what's Panini doing? You bought the Mets, they have one hit. 
But no Peter is Peter Alonzo's not on the checklist. Oh, Jeff McNeil is your autograph for, for the Mets. Well, we probably priced it accordingly. times when you don't see certain players and teams it's not because they it's not because they're like you think they don't know that Pete Alonzo is great or Nick Senzel is great you know what I mean a lot of times it's because they weren't available to sign and maybe they just didn't want to didn't want him to be a redemption or something like that so they may have had to had to move on without them there's Josh James rookie autograph There's Austin Voth, 99. So there's Eric Hosmer, 75. Shane Bieber to 75. There's Yasiel Puig with a walk-off single for the uh, Reds today. Beating the Cubbies. There's Xander Bogarts to 199. Bryce Wilson to 35, rookie auto for the Brew Crew. Drew Kerr with the Bravos. Braves with a shutout victory tonight. Beating the Cardinals. There's Jalen Beeks three ninety nine for the Rays. Should be expecting one more autograph out of here. We're almost done, folks. Two more boxes to go. We'll go through, and then I'm going to take a quick little break. We'll go through orders, et cetera, et cetera. Out of 150, Scoot, Scooter Jeanette. Sam Jost, that said Atlanta. Yeah, did I, what did I say? Didn't I say it went to the Bravos, Drew Kerr? Now, always wait for the checklist, Atomic. Always wait for the checklist. Wait, I said Brewers? I don't know why I said Brewers. Well, it doesn't matter what I say. It, that list is what matters. That's what the shipping team goes off of. There's Brandon Belt to 299. I said Bravos, Braves. No, all right. Rewind. Let's go back to the tape. What does the tape say? If you rewind, make sure you go back live, folks. Don't lag behind. Frank Thomas, the big hurt, to 199. There's Lewis Brinson for the fish. Chris Parent. Oh, maybe I was reading what was on the screen. I'm Ron Burgundy. Chris and Stewart for the Tigers, three ninety nine. And Cedric Mullins for the O's to three ninety nine. $2.99. 
two boxes to go. Yeah, Dodgers have been looking good, especially at home. Atomic card guy. Yeah, they, they, they definitely took care of Chris Paddock last night. Am I on the Dodgers tonight? Maybe. No, I'm not. They, that game maybe have, may have just started. Yeah, they're in the top of the second right now. Yeah, Verdugo, I'm glad. I mean, the blessing, the curse of of AJ Pollock's elbow infection. Wow, you did the rewind. I said Brew Crew? Man. Definitely meant Braves. All right, the tape is right. That's why we record these things. But yeah, the, the 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 curse of AJ Pollock going down with that elbow infection, uh, the blessing out of that has been getting Alex Verdugo some some uh, regular playing time, some everyday playing time. It's a final in Philadelphia. Brewers beat the Phillies five to two. I was on the on the Brewers tonight, so so far after four games, I am two for two on the night. I just need the Rangers to hang on and beat the Royals 5-1. to one. They're in the top of the six right now in Kansas City. And then I'll be, be just a little positive today. And then I can watch the Dodgers game. What's happening in hoops? I think the Bucks just tied it up. Oh, they're up by five now. So are they maybe kind of pulling away with six minutes left in the fourth quarter? A lot of sports going on. It's a good time of year. A lot of baseball, some exciting playoff basketball. There's Rafael Devers to 150. Steven Duggar to 60. Um, I have made small financial investments in those teams. I like to call them investments. It's like a like the stock market, like I'm investing in a company. There's there's Gabriel Guero, Guerrero, right there. There you go, nephew of Vlad and Wilton Guerrero, to two ninety nine. Jack B mentioned that in a previous break. There's Matt Barnes. Pro penmanship autograph for the Red Sox. That'll go to Drew Kerr and the Bo Sox. Harrison Bader, 399. Still has a weird neck injury thing happening for Harrison Bader. Hasn't really gotten back on track this season after a stint on the IL. Mike Miner's pitching. He's been a small diamond in the rough for, for Sam's Rangers. And a 399, Luis Castillo. Yeah, we did see that. Red Sox and Rockies going into extras. Just like last night. Jonathan Davis for the Blue Jays. Rookie auto for Billy. Got the Blue Jays in a spot random. There's Jose Peraza to 399. Former Braves prospect, I want to say. There's Nolan Arenado to 299. We got Andrew Benintendi to 199. Looking for one more autograph out of here. There's Rafael Devers to 299. Is that a, is that a sign that the Red Sox are going to walk it off? Maybe. Man, isn't it crazy they have Michael Brantley on the Astros? Out of 299. What a great pickup.
Dean Dietz. What's the Dietz? It's two ninety nine. And Patrick Wisdom, six out of thirty five. Rookie autograph for Rookie Autograph four. For Jay Tinney, who has the Rangers. It's Kershaw had a nice outing last night. There's Vlad Guerrero Sr. to 199. Yeah, I think Michael Brantley's doing pretty well. I don't think they have him playing every day, but in whatever limited time he's had, he's been playing pretty well. That's why no one likes random teams, EA. <laughs> Uh, in my financial endeavor, Sam, yes, I have gone undefeated on a given night. It's not too common. Maybe, maybe a few times, a few times a year. Not very, it doesn't happen very often. A few times a season, I guess. So maybe the Brandon Phillips trade. Jose Peraza was a Braves prospect and maybe went to the Reds in that Brandon Phillips trade, I think. Oh, Zach's reminding us maybe Peraza went over to the... That's right, because we had Peraza for a second. Jose Peraza went over to the Dodgers in the disaster of that Hector Oliveira trade. Right, and then Hector Oliveira got dinged with, like, domestic violence stuff and then out of the league, out of the country, maybe. Yeah, there you go. Johnny is saying that Brantley is batting 335, G-Lo. So, looks like the Astros have some good depth. <laughs> what did the Dodgers trade? Maybe the Dodgers traded to the Reds for Brandon Phillips? All right, last box, believe it or not. We made it. We made it. Thanks for hanging and watching, everybody. Charlie Blackman to 399. Albert Pujols to 199. Always nice to have a nice active chat in these long breaks, just so kind of makes it feel like it's a little bit faster. There's Jalen Beeks to 399. There's Trevor Williams to 150 for the Pirates. Right, and he wasn't good even without the domestic violence issue. Oh, Dodgers got Alex Wood out of that deal, too. There's Freddie Freeman to 199. Albert Pujols to 299. And speaking of the Braves, there's Tukey Toussaint. A live arm on that guy. If Tukey Toussaint, Drew Kerr, with the Braves, can keep, can keep his uh, walks under control... You know, like 250 strikeouts a year. Nick Castellanos to 299. Ty Buttery, Buttery, out of out of 99. There's a uh, there's a bread joke in there somewhere. There's Jonathan Loizaga, 23 out of 50. Snakeskin rookie auto for Randy Brown and the Bronx Bombers. There's Joey Votto to 399 and Larry Walker to 399. Yeah, Toussaint, well, he's got options. So they they can just ship him up and down as many times as they want to whenever they need it. Like a reliever pitches two days in a row, call up Tucson. Sit down that reliever. <laughs> so he's getting familiar with a lot of, uh, there's Kyle Tucker with a lot of airports. Dal Lugo. Ren Lau. To 399. Carlos Carrasco to 299. Yeah, Hyunjin Ru has been p pitching incredibly well. He had a complete game shutout. 
two starts ago, and then his last start, he almost threw a no-hitter, took a no-hitter into the seventh or eighth inning. His, his big issue, of course, is uh, injuries. He's got bird bones. No, actually, it's, they're not bone issues. They're usually ligament issues. Like a shoulder issue, he's got surgery, he's got groin problems that knocked him out for months. There's Luis Ortiz, rookie auto for the uh, Orioles. That'll be for EA and the O's. But if he can stay healthy, there's no reason why he can't do this all season. And he, he's pretty, uh, in, in spite of his, like, his kind of, uh, you know, he's kind of has like a chubby face and sort of looks like a cartoon character. There's Mookie Betts to 99. But dude is, uh, dude has ice water in his veins. There's Jose Peraza, 399. So he doesn't mind pitching, uh, pitching like big games or big moments. Doesn't, doesn't rattle him. He had a few, couple, a good start or two against the Cardinals in the playoffs his rookie year. He delivered. The other thing is um, road. Uh, his he pitches significantly better at home. There's Miguel Tejada to two ninety nine and Albert Pujols to one one out of fifty. And there you go. Recap video will be in a separate video for Pick Your Team One. Thanks everybody. If Hyunjin Roo can pitch like that on the road too. That could be a Cy Young campaign, ladies and gentlemen, and knock on wood, health. Thanks, everybody, to your health. We'll see you next time. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.